In 2017, I was awarded a Wellcome Trust Senior Fellowship in Clinical Science to conduct a trial called CHETSA. CHETSA, which stands for Community-Based Interventions to Improve HIV Outcomes in Youth, is a cluster randomized trial aiming to investigate the impact of providing an integrated package of HIV and sexual and reproductive health services to youth to improve HIV outcomes. It's being done in three provinces of Zimbabwe, which are Harare, Ulawayo, and Marshall Island East. We expect between 30,000 to 40,000 young people to access services in the Chiedza study during the course of the two years. Chiedza offers a package of services to young people aged 16 to 24 years in the community. The package of services that we offer include HIV testing, STI services that include screening and syndromic management. We distribute condoms such as these, contraception, uh, we also provide general health counselling, HIV um, treatment initiation as well as adherence support through CAPS groups. Chiedza also offers referral to other healthcare services in the communities that we operate in. I feel like us giving them choice to choose between provider testing and self-testing is really helpful. We are trying to promote self-test so that we empower the youths. As Chiedza, we're providing all the menstrual health needs for the young women that come into our service. I am the um, MHM lead for Chiedza, which means I will be conducting my PhD research on menstrual health amongst young women in Zimbabwe. We are providing information education on menstrual health, as well as a choice of menstrual products, the period pants, reusable pads, and the menstrual cup. And what we've seen in Chiedza is there is a huge unmet need for menstrual health. So we have a lot of young women coming to Chiedza for menstrual health, but that allows us to engage in a conversation about reproductive health and then talk to them about getting tested for HIV or STIs or even getting onto contraception. We will also investigate the uptake, yield and feasibility of providing uh, diagnostic STI testing in a community-based setting. What it means is that when people come to Chiedza, they are told about STIs and then if they want to be screened, they will have to provide a urine sample. The urine samples are then taken to the laboratory and in the laboratory we test the urine samples and within 90 minutes you get the test result of either being positive for chlamydia, chlamydia and gonorrhea, gonorrhea alone or negative. The trial has several innovative aspects. Firstly, there is an active strategy for engaging youth in both the design delivery and evaluation of the intervention. What we've done is we've created a package of services in the community for young people. We've packaged them in such a way that they're fun, they're vibrant, um, they're in spaces where young people want to be, they're spaces where young people can interact with each other. While young people are in the spaces, they can also access services. And so we set up um, booths within the youth centers where if a young person is playing pool, for example, um, they can also you know, step away from their friends and get an HIV test. They can step away from their friend and speak to somebody like a counselor about relationship problems or any substance abuse issues they might be having. Finally, the trial will conduct a detailed process evaluation and also a cost-effectiveness study to inform scalability should the intervention prove effective. The process evaluation study really aims to describe and understand how the Chiedza intervention is effective, ineffective, or results in unintended outcomes. And the way that we're trying to do this is by a lot of data collection. I talk to our intervention implementing team about what they're doing on the ground, how they're doing it, why they're doing it. Is it the same as we wanted it to be done based on our protocol and our manual of operations? The trial outcomes will be ascertained through a large population-based survey of 24,000 young people across the study sites. The primary outcome is HIV-1 viral load, but the survey will provide an opportunity at investigating a number of important health behaviours and outcomes. These include smoking and alcohol use, drug use, as well as mental health and family planning. This will be the largest survey of youth in Sub-Saharan Africa.